Ah, uh, bonjour, bonjour. I just got back from France where I was inquiring about the Tour de France. It's like a cycling race there, no? No, no, I was not. I wish, I wish I was, but I was not. My accent is all messed up now. I cannot do French accent. I'm so sorry. Uh, actually, no, I'm, I'm just wearing this hat here that says Seattle to Portland because I'm thinking about different countries and racing and, and riding. And I wore this when I did my bike ride and I wish I was in Fr France. Um, I'm reading from the uh, Ultimate Fact Book, which has all sorts of different countries. And I'm not, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to find this information online, but if you've chosen your country and would like me to copy a page for you on your country, I can maybe work on doing that, okay? Uh, today, we're gonna be exploring more about how to access information for your research. Your research is you've chosen a country, hopefully by now, Many of you either have or soon will be getting this large 11 by 17 country report, okay? And this is like your pre-writing. So this is where you think of chapters, you have fun facts that I put up here, um, any vocabulary that you want. As you start to do some research in all of the various sites, Miss Burwell, I know for uh, my homeroom class, she showed us how to get access through um, the Seattle Public Schools and so uh, website. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Culturegrams, Britannica is an encyclopedia. There's a, we'll also talk a little bit today about how to do a search. Okay, so here we go. Okay, at this point, you're going to want to do uh, probably get something to write with, maybe in your. Um, your notebook and I'm going to go through the steps uh, about how to access information from the Seattle Public Schools website. So first of all, you're going to type in Seattle Public Schools in your Google or your browser. Then you can go to the home page. You might have to watch this a couple of times just to get the information. You want to go up here to where it says students and we're going to go to online academic resources right there online academic resources we'll click there and then you'll see this page and this may be familiar to you maybe you've had other ways of getting to this and there's a couple of different um, of these icons here that I want you to look at so here's Britannica they have one in Spanish but go ahead and click this one the first one, and it's going to ask for a school access code. This is what you're going to need to write down. So your school access code is student SBS, and the password is access. This will get you into Britannica. It also will get you into um, Culturegrams, which is another place you can find information. Okay, so if you need to Pause the video and back it up so you can write it down. I'm just going to keep moving forward. So I'm going to go up here where it says school access ID and it says student SPS. After you've done it a few times, you can just get it from the pull down bar. And then I'm going to type in access, A-C-C-E-S-S. -S. Yes, you do have to spell it right. Sign in. And you should come up. If all goes well, you should come up with this page. You'll click on elementary unless you want to really challenge yourself. Um, and then you'll come to a screen that has a ton of, what is this? This is not what I thought I was going to have. I'm going to click on World Atlas. It can show you a map of the world. If you haven't chosen your country yet, you can see all kinds of countries. And I'm actually going over here to Australia and see how it's zooming in for me because that's one of the ones that we had talked about previously. Okay, let me go back. I'm gonna go up into the search bar and I'm gonna type in Australia up there. I think I put one too many eyes in there. Let's see if it'll work though. Um, no, it did not because I spelled it wrong. Let's do this. And there, oh, look at that. 
it does a drop down men menu for me. Okay, and then you'll start to see information like the flag, um, geography, if you scroll up, you can see, let's go under plants and animals. If I wanted to do some, take some notes about some of the animals like dingoes, wild dogs, uh, who are on the, uh, I guess they're becoming almost endangered from hunters, which is sad to, sad to hear about. But you can read about and click on any of these. Like if I hit, if I touch the word dingoes, it shows me a picture, gives me some information. Now, when you're taking notes, you are actually um, kind of putting it in your own words. And if you find anything interesting, like earlier today, I was doing some research and found out about an animal that I'm not going to reveal right now, but that it uh, is considered very dangerous. One, probably the second most dangerous animal in Australia. And um, that information was new to me. And so I thought, well, I could write in another sentence about that as well, um, about how there, here's something I never knew that the, you know, and then I would continue on. Anyway, so this is one place you can explore. Let's go back to our page that had all the different places we could look. I want to go to culture grams this time. You also need to sign in. Guess what you're going to do? Yes, you're right, student SBS. So I'm going to do that. Maybe it'll start to, it'll, it drops down for me. Click on that, type in access. Log in. And I want to go, you want to go to kids edition. Unless you're not finding what you need, then you could try the world edition. Um, okay. And I'm going to actually go up into the search menu. Whoops, you can't see that, can you? And this time I'll spell it right. I put an extra I in there last time. And see what information it comes up. Oh, goodness, all kinds of stuff. Um, I could look at land and climate. So you're going to have to hunt around. So that's sort of your work in writing this week is to is to be gathering information so that you can fill out your um, cool country report which is your pre-writing um, you can get, get gra uh, gather information if you go over to the left side oops why did it go away you can see that there is it went all the way out anyway so play around with that um, type in your country, or if you want to type in something even more specific, like animals of Australia, Austra uh, Australia is mine. The one I'm using as an example, whatever country you've chosen. If you haven't chosen a country, you could click on a continent like Asia. You could get down really specific here and find different places in the world that you might want to research. Okay, so that's pretty much how you get in that. The other thing she mentioned, one of the, the other sites that you could look at is PebbleGo, because PebbleGo sometimes has, and this is just a fun site to look at for other things too, if you've never really been able to explore it. Um, so again, you could go up here, put in your country name, Australia, and it might like living in Australia, it's gonna give you just some concise information. Um, uh, let's look at the animals one to see if my fast fact was, my fact was here that I wanted to share with you. Nope. That's not where I found it. Okay. All right. That's all for now. All right. The last thing I want to share with you is this chart here. It says how to turn a research question into a search query. A query is where you're looking, you have a question in mind and, um, you want to look something up. Like, let's say I said the question, what kinds of animals are there in Australia? And I could write that down as a question. And then I would circle the words that I think I really need to put in my query. This is what you would put in the search bar or the browser. You could even Google this. Like if I wanted to write animals, Australia, I'm sure that would come up with a lot of different information. But you can even narrow it down. So if my question is what kinds of animals are there in Australia, I could cross out the unnecessary words. What kinds of are there in those? I don't need those words. I just need the words animals in Australia. But I can, number four says add or substitute more specific words. So I could add a word such as 
unique. So if I want to know about unique animals in Australia, I might just type in unique animals Australia and it should give me a more refined search, which will help give me more specific information to what I'm looking at. So, and then the fifth item says decide in what order you would write the words. This is just how to do a query. So you come up with a question and then from your question, you figure out what what words you would would are most important that you're going to want to put in your search and then search away and lastly as you're doing your research there are going to be times when you are able to run into a, a fact that's fascinating to you make sure you write that down somewhere in your notes maybe on the back of your uh, country report but here's one um, many Australian animals are found nowhere else in the world because they evolved on an island separate from other animals in the world. Okay, and that comes from a uh, web website called AmazingAussieAnimals.com. Okay, well, happy researching. I'm looking forward to hearing about how it's going. Reach out to me if you have questions and we'll go from there. All right, I'll see you on the trail. What trail? You know, the bike trail. No, I probably won't because <laughs> I'm not biking right now. And, well, you know, we're waiting for better days, but hopefully down the road. So one thing we forgot about, I forgot about, was the secret word. Well, my, our secret word this week is an animal that's from Australia. And I'm going to give you some clues. Um, one of the features that you could do in a... Uh, in your report is you could have a did you know section and you could say did you know there is an animal who is mm, the largest animal that burrows meaning digging holes in the ground and it's from Australia and some people call it a small bear because it looks a little bit like a small bear do you know what the animal is that am animal is called a wombat w-o-m B-A-T, a wombat, and they're cool. So that was an animal I was curious about, so I found something on the internet that talked about that, and I could put that in a feature like a did you know, just as a sidebar in one, in one of your pages on your report. Something to consider and to think about. Okay, till next time, fourth graders, thanks for tuning in.